Just one glance at the countless formations in the firmament shows the dimensions of the universe far exceed our imagination. When we consider that our view of the stars covers only a tiny fraction of the entire universe, it becomes clear that we are still far from having unlocked all the secrets of our galactic neighborhood. In addition to the exploration of already known celestial bodies, the search for previously undiscovered planets is one of the most important fields of modern space research. The main focus of scientific interest is on those objects that are most similar to our Earth in terms of their composition. The search for potentially habitable planets has kept the scientific community on tenterhooks for several decades. A recent discovery by NASA leads now to the fact that the list of Earth-similar celestial bodies has been supplemented by a further, unusual representative. Which other planets exhibit amazing parallels to our terrestrial homeland? You'll find out in the following video. Would you like to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and never miss one of our videos again. Feel free to show us that you like our content with a thumbs up. TOI 1231b While planets in our immediate galactic neighborhood have been known to us for many decades, beyond our solar system there are still countless celestial bodies whose existence we know nothing about. Until recently, these included the exoplanet TOI 1231b, which made scientific headlines due to its unusual atmosphere. NASA employees at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the U.S. state of New Mexico were responsible for the discovery of this celestial body. The experts succeeded in locating the fascinating object at a distance of about 90 light-years in the night sky. The exoplanet orbits a red dwarf, one of the smallest stellar representatives in the universe. Scientists quickly realized that the newly discovered planet has some striking similarities to our terrestrial home. The celestial body needs only 24 days to orbit its host star once. Regarding its average surface temperatures, TOI 1231 can be confidently classified as Earth similar. The average surface temperature is 134.3 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the coolest known exoplanets. Comparable transit planets show in most cases scorching hot surface temperatures exceeding several hundred or even thousands of degrees. Experts also assume that there are clouds in the atmosphere of the planet. According to initial findings, the object's natural protective shell is composed of hydrogen. At the same time, the research results give an indication that the surface of the celestial body could be adorned by liquid water. While these early findings give rise to sensational conjectures, future investigations are needed to fully fathom the nature and precise characteristics of the fascinating exoplanet. In the course of this research, NASA scientists hope to find out what the chemical composition of the planet is. The question of how frequently or rarely water clouds form around the exoplanet will also be answered in future research. Kepler 452b When it comes to the question of Earth-like celestial bodies, there is no way around Kepler 452b. The planet owes its name to the Kepler Space Telescope, which helped to identify the object. The host star that Kepler 452b orbits is located about 1800 light years from our Sun. In fact, the two gleaming bright celestial bodies show fascinating parallels. The remote star is only 10% larger than our Sun. The exoplanet itself, however, easily dwarfs our Earth in terms of its dimensions. According to current estimates, the diameter of the exoplanet is up to 80% larger than the diameter of the Earth. To circle its central galactic fixed point once, Kepler 452b needs about 385 days. Since the celestial body is located in the habitable zone of its planetary system, it's considered a promising candidate for the hypothetical existence of extraterrestrial life forms. TRAPPIST-1d about four years ago, renowned scientists made a sensational announcement, the discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system, according to which at least seven Earth-like exoplanets move their orbits around the red dwarf 
that gives the system its name. The experts came to this conclusion when they noticed that the brightness of the low-mass celestial body decreases at regular intervals. This fact, in turn, indicates that several objects must repeatedly pass by TRAPPIST-1. Of all the known celestial bodies in the TRAPPIST-1 system, the planet TRAPPIST-1d is one of the most exciting. In all likelihood, the object 40 light-years away from us is a rocky exoplanet that lies in the habitable zone of its galactic association. To orbit its central star once, TRAPPIST-1d needs just a little more than four days. Regarding its size, the exoplanet appears to be somewhat smaller than our Earth. It's probable that TRAPPIST-1d is, like all other representatives of this planetary system, tide-locked. This means that one side of the celestial body is always illuminated by light, while the opposite area is permanently turned away from the host star. Some evidence suggests that a vast ocean of liquid water once existed on TRAPPIST-1d. Presumably, however, most of the galactic sea evaporated over the millennia. Nevertheless, it's possible that at least a small part of the water defied the ravages of time and is still present on the planet today. However, nothing is known about the exact chemical composition and the hypothetical atmosphere of the celestial body. Proxima b When we travel 4.2 light years into space from our Earth, we encounter the star Proxima Centauri. In fact, this celestial body, located in the constellation Centaur, is the closest star to our Sun. However, if you want to observe this fascinating object from our latitudes, you'll be hard-pressed to do so. Due to its location, Proxima Centauri can only be seen from earthly locations below the 27th parallel. As we know today, the Red Dwarf is not alone in its galactic orbits around Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. Using the radial velocity method, scientists succeeded in summer 2016 in providing evidence for the existence of the exoplanet Proxima b. The spatial constellation between the celestial body and its central star in turn gives rise to the assumption that water could exist on the planet in a permanently liquid form. Since Proxima b is the closest known exoplanet to Earth, its detailed investigation is comparatively simple compared to other, more distant objects. The mass of the planet is estimated to be between 1.2 and 3 Earth masses. Based on the luminosity of the host star, the spatial position, and the estimated albedo, experts were able to estimate the average surface temperature on Proxima b at a value of negative 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Should the Earth-like exoplanet have an atmosphere, however, this could lead to a greenhouse effect on the celestial body, which would eventually result in significantly higher temperatures. Thus, as already briefly mentioned, the existence of liquid water would also be possible, which is known to be a basic prerequisite for the emergence of life. K272e In the Aquarius constellation, approximately 228 light-years away from our blue homeland, lies the planetary system K272. In addition to the red dwarf of the same name, this galactic group also includes four planets. The outermost of these finds itself again and again at the center of scientific interest. The confirmed exoplanet K272e, which was added to the stellar maps with the help of the transit method, has a radius that is about 0.86 times that of our terrestrial home. At the same time, K272e is subject to average temperatures that amount to about 61 degrees Fahrenheit. The orbital period of the exoplanet located in the habitable zone is 24 days. The rotation of the planet is bound. Despite this circumstance, which leads to the fact that one side of the celestial body is permanently turned towards its host star, while the other side is always plunged into darkness, there is a narrow area on K272e that could harbor liquid water. However, it's still uncertain whether living beings could really develop on the planet. The fact that K272e is illuminated by its central star much more intensively than the Earth is illuminated by the Sun might lead to the fact that all water deposits on its surface boil off. Enceladus Finally, we would like to remind you that it's not absolutely necessary to travel to distant planetary systems to find celestial bodies on which life forms could develop. Even Saturn's bright moon Enceladus has long been suspected of being a suitable candidate 
for the presence of extraterrestrial life forms. However, a first look at the ring planet's constant companion makes this thesis seem extremely unlikely. The surface of Saturn's moon is buried under an impenetrable, half-mile thick layer of ice. Its natural shape and its position in relation to the sun mean that Enceladus has freezing cold average temperatures of negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit. The potential living beings on the celestial body would have to exist not on the outside of the satellite, but in the deeper lying areas. The moon is most likely adorned by a gigantic subterranean ocean. In addition, Enceladus is known to have countless cryovolcanic formations that regularly spew gigantic fountains of steam into space. A more detailed study of those emissions concluded that the spewed water vapor contains methane. It's possible that tiny microbes are responsible for the presence of this chemical element. It's been proposed that these tiny life forms evolved at hot springs located at the bottom of the subglacial ocean. Theoretically, however, it's also possible that the methane that has been detected is produced by another, as yet, unknown source. Now it's your turn. What do you think about these amazing Earth-like celestial bodies? We're already looking forward to your comments. Please also have a look at the other exciting videos, which you can access now by clicking on the images in the credits. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.